If you're applying to medical school, then I'm sure you've been searching the internet for ways that you can get into medical school. And your personal statement is your chance to shine. And in this video, I want to break down some great tips for writing an excellent personal statement that will get you one step closer to being a doctor. If you're new to my channel then welcome, my name's Sarah, I'm a junior doctor in the UK and I make videos about my life as a doctor and what I get up to in my free time. Now I wanted to repost to you guys my video that I made a couple of years ago about personal statements because it is getting to that time of year when you're all starting to think about applying to medical school, writing that personal statement and I watched that video back and I was like wow, I really need to reshoot that video. There are some great tips in it, but I've got some more tips for you and the quality was not on point. So, you know, today is a new video, a new start, and hopefully this video will be useful for you. I'm actually putting together a playlist of videos about how to get into medical school to write a good application and I will be making a playlist and popping this video along with a few others into that so check that out if you're interested and if you enjoy this kind of video then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content as I said I've got loads of vlogs about what it's like to be a doctor some medical school information and lots of Q&A's so a quick disclaimer before I get into this video I'm not a medical school admissions clerk. I am just a junior doctor and all of the advice in this video isn't actually going to promise you a place in medical school or anything like that. Any sort of video that promises that is obviously not one you should be watching. These are just some tips that will help you structure your personal statement if you just need a kick up the butt to get started and to write that first draft. Remember that a personal statement is personal. It's about you and you should structure it and write it however you feel comfortable. But this is a video that will help you to make it concise, succinct and to get across the points you want to get across. Let's get started. A good place to start is to structure your personal statement and I'm going to break down how I wrote my personal statement in four main chunks. Starting with the introduction. Now the introduction is just a very quick way of getting your reader interested in what you have to say. So keep this part uh, to about three to four sentences, keep it succinct and you just want it to be something that's kind of leading them in to your the main body of your personal statement. So some ideas could be a brief description of you and what led you to want to apply to medical school, a very brief description of your story or a quote that applies to you. Like I said, three to four sentences will generally be enough and then you can get started on the main body of your personal statement. So moving on to the next section, you've got to remember that with your personal statement, you have to prove two things to the person reading your personal statement. Why medicine is a good choice for you and why you are a good choice for the medical school. Because it's kind of like dating, it's a two-way thing. They want to know that you're the right fit, you want to know that they're the right fit and you have to meet somewhere in the middle. So you need to prove all of those points to the medical school that you're applying to. So you're going to use this section to tell the reader why you know medicine is the right choice for you. In this section you can talk about any of the work experience you've done, shadowing, volunteering, any exposure that you have had to the medical field and you can talk about your experiences here. So I want you to try and remember at this point that this isn't just a tick boxing, ex a tick boxing, ticking box exercise. You don't want to just say the experiences you've had, you know, you might have done five or ten different things, but that doesn't mean that you'll necessarily be able to write a good personal statement from that. It's about how you write it um, and talk about what you have learned from those experiences rather than just listing the experiences themselves. Medical school and being a doctor is a lot about reflective practice and showing how you have learned from certain experiences. So if you get a bit stuck in this part, try using the five W's method. So who, what, where, when, and why. And you can answer some questions to kind of trigger you and start the ball rolling with your text. Who, you could write about who inspired you, who do you look up to, what sparked your interest in biology? Was it a news story? Is it that you love biology at school? A science article, the illness of a relative, and you could also talk about what you think you will love about a career in medicine. Where have you experienced anything medical and where do you see yourself in the future? 
when did you decide you wanted to do medicine and when have you ever questioned whether medicine is the right career for you and what ultimately made you decide that it is now this is actually a really nice thing to put into your um, personal statement if it is something you've ever questioned because it shows that you're not just kind of seeing medicine as this like glowing beacon of a career that's absolutely perfect and has no downsides it shows that you're critically analyzing what an actual doctor's lifestyle is like and then finally why why medicine why not another healthcare career? Why not another science-based career? It is a good idea to explore this and to show that you understand that medicine can be a difficult career and, and that you've explored the challenges that you might face. And you don't have to structure the, um, the why medicine part in terms of answering those questions. Those are just some ways of getting yourself writing and thinking and brainstorming. You know, you don't even have to write this all out in paragraph form to begin with. You could literally just brainstorm the answers to those questions and then structure it how you think is best. So going on to the third part of your personal statement, this is where you want to answer the question, why you? So your first bit was why medicine and now why you? And you're going to focus on you as an individual and why the medical school would be crazy not to accept you. So this is your chance to shine. Don't be shy in this bit. It would be a good idea to think about what qualities does, does a good doctor possess and how can you show the medical school that you have those qualities or that you can gain those qualities. There's a really good document called Tomorrow's Doctors and I'm going to link that down in the description box below so you guys can check that out. And as well, I'm actually linking a cheat sheet down in the description box below so you can check that out and you can subscribe to my newsletter and download that PDF as well. Also in this section, you want to talk about what you do in your free time. Medical school wants to know that you are a well-rounded individual and that you have time for things other than just studying. It takes a special kind of person to get into medical school as well as maintaining a normal lifestyle as well with hobbies and outside interests and they want to know that you are the kind of person that has those outside interests because that will help you prevent burnout in future years. Now the other thing to mention is that you're not just going to be wanting to talk about your hobbies and the things you do but you're going to want to talk about how they enrich you as a person. So for example if you play hockey you could talk about how that makes you an efficient person, you've got a you've got great time management skills and you can manage a busy schedule with working and studying as well as keeping up with your training. You can also talk about how it helps you collaborate with a team and being disciplined with training etc etc. So even if you only have one hobby you can really expand on that. And don't feel like it has to be you know a particular hobby that makes you seem like you're from a an affluent background or something. It doesn't have to be like a sport or a musical instrument or something. It could be that you look after your neighbor's dogs for example and you can talk about okay. that so then finally I would round off the whole personal statement with a conclusion and similar to your introduction you want to keep this short and sweet probably three to four sentences at most just a brief summary of why you think you would be a good applicant for medical school and why medical school is the right career for you. So a few bonus tips for you. If you find it difficult to write about your own qualities and it doesn't come naturally to you, then have a think about asking your friends and family, ask them to write down their five favorite things about you or the five qualities that they think would be good in you becoming a doctor. Next bonus tip is to keep it simple. Only use language you would use in real life. You do not need <laughs> to be getting that thesaurus out and like looking up every single word and changing it to something more fancy. No, the, the medical school are gonna see right through that. It just doesn't seem genuine. Just use language that you would use in real life. And going on from that point, draft your medical school's personal statement. Just get your first draft done. It's, you know, writing it in the first draft is the hardest thing. Then reiterate it, reiterate it, reiterate it check for spelling mistakes and get other people that you trust to check it for spelling mistakes as well. Also keep a copy of your medical school personal statement, print it out and before you get an interview, because hopefully you will get an interview, read through that again and just remind yourself of what you t talked about in your personal statement because the chances are in your interview they will bring up some points that you spoke about in your personal statement and you want to kind of remember and and remember what you said. So for example, if you said that you're a Brownies leader, you want to talk about how that gives you good leadership skills and working well in a team. 
My final bonus tip is to read the documents that I have linked down in the description box below. Hopefully they will be helpful for you. And good luck guys. Your personal statement is a reflection of you as a person. It can be as personal to you as you want it to be. So just use it as your chance to shine. It's an opportunity to get yourself into medical school and get the career that you've been wanting for all these years. So go out there, get that pen to paper, just to get drafting, brainstorming, get started as soon as you can. And I wish you all the best of luck. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.